Now the database I'm going to look at is just called Pet Store. So I'll put in Pet Store and I'll click Connect. That brings up all of the tables that currently exist in that database. And I can choose to fetch all of them or some subset of them. I'll select all of them for now and click Fetch Tables. Our tables exist here. We can see they are clickable on the side, which shows me the current data and the current schema. I can see that's a text field, text field, text field, and this is a magic field. Um, pets, we can see a number field, a text field. And for text fields, we can click this dot and edit, and we can restrict it to be an options field or a long form text, or maybe this is an interpretation of a barcode or a QR code. So the first thing we do when we're building an admin panel with Postgres is we get our data into BuddyBase by connecting the data source. The next is we click on the design tab. BuddyBase is made up of a number of screens. We can add and remove screens um, from this panel. We can then within screens, add and remove components. We can look at theming across the application and we can look at navigation, this bar at the top where we want it to appear and where not. Just put the S in Postgres. I'm gonna add a new screen and I'm gonna use the list view and click continue. It asks me which of the tables I want to use. So I'm just gonna use the pets table and click confirm. It then asks me for the role based access control for that particular screen. It defaults to basic, which means people need to be logged in. At public, people don't need to be logged in. And we have power and admin as elevated roles that allow us to split our applications functionality and allow different levels to have access to different screens. I'll leave it at basic and click done. And here we have a table block for this particular table. So let's have a look. If I hit preview, I can see that I can read all this data. It's paginated, amazing. I can click on a single record and I get the side panel that pops out that gives me details. But I can also change the, the details of the records there. So I can change the age of that German Shepherd to be eight. I can create new rows, so I can add new owner IDs and ages and breeds and names and specimens. So that's my create, read and update. What about delete? Well, we have to enable delete, come back to the back end, click on our table and scroll down on the right hand side. There's this checkbox that says show delete with that click. And now back on my preview, when I click on a window, I can delete that record. So with just creating a screen, and checking a box, I've got full CRUD functionality. I've also got more power here. So rather than showing all the fields, I can click columns, add all columns. I can rearrange these. Maybe I don't want to show the owner ID and I can save that and my table gets tidied up. Equally for the fields of the form that's being filled in for our create, read and update, I can configure fields and move those around, change their types and things like that. If you do have relationships between the tables, which is probably quite likely, here I have pets with an owner ID, which is linking out to this owner. What I can do is I can go to my owners and I can use define relationship. It's a one to many because one owner could have many pets. I'm linking using the owner ID to the pets table. And there is a column over there called owner ID as well. I'm happy enough with the from and to column being owners and pets. And I can see here the pets in the owner's table are 1, 2, 3, 10, 10, 10. Interesting. And on the pets table, I can see the owner's name. Now I saw 10, 10, 10 because actually this first column, this owner ID is the one that's being used to define the pet. I actually want the name. So I'll find the name. I'll hit the three dots and I'll say use this display column. Now back on my owner's table, I get a much more interesting and useful feedback on this table, which is awesome. In the design view then, I can bring that back in again. So if I click on configure columns, add a column and add the owners, bring that to the top. I have that relational data being displayed within my table. So I'm setting up the data, defining the relationships and organizing it in a way which makes sense. And then in my design tab, I'm making it available to my users, showing them how to get there. So now that we have our screen for our pets, 
We can think about adding in screens for some of the other tables in our database. So remember we've got our owners, appointments and pets. If we look at appointments, you can see it's got a pet ID. Um, and so we want to link that together. So we'll define a relationship. So define relationship, one appointment can have many pets. That's not true. One pet can have many, many appointments. We'll go to pets and we'll define a relationship from there. We'll say one pet to the appointments table and we'll use the pet ID and we'll save. So the appointments are listed by appointment ID. So if we go back and change it to date, that's probably gonna be the most useful. So three dots, use this display column. So now our appointments have the actual dates, which makes a lot more sense. Awesome. So let's create the screen. We'll go to screen, add screen, list view and continue. We're creating it for the appointments and we'll confirm and we want the basic level. So we'll do that. So we've got the pet name and the pet ID. I only want one of those. So I'll configure the columns, add them all and save that. So I've got my appointment date, description and pets. And if I look at this on the front end by previewing and click on create row, I can see I can still enter the pet ID, but I don't want to enter the pet ID. Instead, I want to have to select it from the actual dropdown. So I'll close that and clicking on my table, I'll scroll down to configure fields, add all the columns and save. And now I'll try again, create a row, and that looks much better. I'll create an appointment on the 13th, um, sore toe, and I'll do it for pixel and save. See that's available there, sore toe for pixel. Now I'd actually like to search for um, appointment descriptions. And we can add in search fields very quickly. So in the table block configurations, search field, I'll click on description and I'll preview. And now I'll search for the word sore. We can see sore to pixel, that's the date it was on. You can look for checkup. Got a couple of different checkups, one for Charlie in June and another for Oscar back in June as well. So now I have two tables which could have different role-based access. I've configured what's displayed and what's been edited. I've got a search, I've got pagination, and I've got full CRUD functionality. So if you're trying to decide how to quickly add an admin panel on top of your PostgreSQL database, let me offer you BuddyBase. Have a look at some of the other videos we have on our channel to get more ideas for how you can make your data more accessible, more useful, and stimulating more action within your team. Hope this has been useful. Let us know in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.